Hey, it's the Mob Vortex. I'm going to keep this video quite snappy. Um, at the minute, I am just staying somewhere in London. I have some paintings I have in storage, some artworks, uh, which I'd quite like to sell. Uh, so I'll just show them quickly. I'm going to talk a bit about each. Uh, really, I just need to get them out of storage of where I'm staying now in London. So I want to go through each, talk a little bit about each one from um, sort of smallest to biggest. And I would say if you're open, if you like the pieces, send me an offer and I will uh, I'll basically give you the paintings because they're in storage at the minute here and where I am now, which I won't obviously really show the location, but basically if you're interested in any of these pieces, just send me an offer and I'll potentially just sell them to you as long as it's not like 10 pounds or something but like really like just starting from whatever really because i just need to shift them at the minute anyway right, there, there, there are a variety of pieces and sizes and scales from s small medium to large actually so some acrylic nearly all acrylic and some drawing and some frame pieces as well so anyway i'm just going to show you each piece quickly talk about each one and then yeah and like I said, it starts from uh, probably the most affordable stuff, smaller stuff, and also small stuff so easier to hang, to the larger thing, larger paintings of which there are two. Without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, this is the first piece. It's about, uh, what, like A2? It's a painting, it's acrylic on, I think it's on card or paper. It's pretty for I know I like accept pretty much any offer from 40 pounds up for this to be honest it's framed as well uh, it's part of a series of which I'll show the rest so it's that one take a look at that it's all acrylic sort of going uh, for this period of painting these kind of sparse imagination dreamscapes it's the next one in that series so just take it back a bit Let's take that in if you like that. Obviously, the light's not the greatest, but that's obviously white and natural light. A tree and almost like humanoid figure in a window, sort of thing. It's like abstract but uh, symbolic landscapes, basically. I did so. This is a, a drawing and similarly framed with this nice black frame. It's got glass on it as well, and plastic. Yeah, it's glass actually, it's nicely framed up. Again, I'll accept reasonable offers for that. Just get close up so you can see all of my mark making and stuff. And one of these pieces, this sort of abstract landscape thing. Uh, the glass unfortunately broke on this one, so you'd have to replace it. So again, I'd you could I would accept a little bit of a cheaper offers for that. In terms of like offers, I'm going to accept for these pieces, these smaller pieces, anything from like forty pound up, really. To be honest, like I've. Like I said, I've really just got to shift this stuff. Uh, that's the situation. It's got some nice abstract quality to it. Semi-figurative, you know, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's that one. Got a piece here in the similar vein, again framed uh, with glass. It's called Jester. It's just got a bit more of a figurative element. Acrylic again. Okay, I think that's it for the smaller pieces. I'll go on to the actual acry uh, acrylic paintings on canvas now. This is quite a recent piece. This was actually exhibited in a recent uh, tunnel exhibition, which is the art collective I'm involved in. It's quite large, but not huge. It's, I think, 80 by 70 or something like that. You can see there it's signed 2022, from, so it's from this year. It's actually um, Indian ink acrylic. So it's Indian ink painting. Uh, you can see it's painted all around the edges. A bit of detail there, sort of a symbolic dream painting, I guess, with figurative elements. Uh, quite like this piece, but uh, if you like the look of this, just send me an offer. I'll uh, let you know if I can, if that's acceptable. It's I'm pretty happy with this piece, so. Uh, it'll make a nice contribution to a collection of expressionist contemporary painting, I think. Close up. 
Hello, sir. It's me again. It's like a sort of weird self-portrait in some respects. I'll use myself as a model on it. There you go. I'll just take it further back so you can see a bit more further. I apologise for the lighting. It's not the greatest, but it gives you an idea. A uh, painting from a few years ago in my Sheffield in, uh, studio in Sheffield. This is a painting this one I used to know. Oh, I know. I did know. Uh, this is a portrait. There you go. So pretty self-expansion really, some complimentary blues and yellows, uh, pretty open to any offers on this really, it's actually fought and lost this painting but I probably still have it, it's what it is, so yeah that's that, it's a portrait, what more can I say? It's one of the more significant paintings, this is from 2014 I think, it's quite an old painting in terms of my latest stuff similar size sort of size you can see for the one I showed before so it's about 70 by 80 centimeters I think uh, probably would make a nice addition to any contemporary art expressionism collection uh, the theme it was uh, sort of virtual reality and information overload sensory overload this sort of thing um, sort of gives you a good idea just looking at that for a few a minute or two it's a portrait obviously with abstracted elements I'll just get a bit closer and you can see some of the paint marks there just nice a bit painterly in places yeah for this one like it's just semi offers and I'll see if it's acceptable um, but later, like I said before <laughs> I just want to get this stuff out of storage so I'm pretty pretty easy on that really mother from again 2015 period when i was first working in london it's been exhibited in exhibitions in london several actually i think two or three on finer street back in the day as well uh it's called goat mother it's an abstracted humanoid painting semi-abstract getting close you can see there's quite a, lot of a nice sculptural paint quality going on there there you see nice and painterly uh, i've had this one for quite a while it's in pretty good condition as well you can see the sides are painted this is all good it's not really warped all right. um yeah send me offers for that if you like it uh i'll put po pictures of the each work up as well but it gives an idea just the painting quality right so there you go you can see some of the painterliness a trait of the author franz kafka i did for a show a few years ago uh, it's got some collage there, you can just see there, it's got some collage elements, uh, some paper stuck on. It needs a bit of a dusting this one, but it's still in good nick. Probably would make a good collection for anyone who's a fan of Franz Kafka. Or indeed, look, if, you go, if I go a bit closer here, you can see some of the nice texture that's on the surface of the canvas. Similar size to the other medium sized ones. Okay, look again. I've accept reasonable offers for that, to be honest. Yeah, it is what it is. It's a semi-abstract portrait of Franz Kafka, right? A painting from around about the time of the portrait I showed before. Uh, it's called Queen Bee. So this is a painting that is actually from a, a memory, actually, in fact. It's using symbolism of a queen bee, like a, a woman as a queen bee. Uh, it's getting close, it's got some sort of, it's a bit more illustrative maybe in some ways. Ab symbolic and surrealist, I guess. It's uh, in the way it is painted. Again, this is quite, it's a bit of a thinner canvas, but it's, it's still in good condition, good next. So, uh, yeah, again, reasonable offers accepted for that. An artist I know called Matt Tudor. The lighting doesn't really show, but it's actually white. Um, but it's, yeah, it's sort of like I was trying to mix icon painting with a sort of German expressionism look. Uh, it's getting close, it's actually got some nice painting quality. Very painterly, a little scratching, graffiti. Nice colour combinations. Again, it's about the same size as the other small one, medium ones. Semi-reasonable offers and I'll just give it to you. If you're in the London area as well, that's ideal. So ideally, if you've, anyone watches this who's in London, 
that's the best place for it because I can just drop these off really literally. That's going to be fine. That's that. Done the whole thing. Decent piece. This was actually exhibited in a uh, show recently. It's acrylic Indian ink again. See, 2022. Just about ready to help. Quite a nice expressionistic uh, piece. It's just a square canvas this time, not portrait. I'll accept pretty low offers for that really, it's, it's nice enough, but uh, again, it'd just be good to shift a few. It's acrylic ink, quite expressionistic in this style. Quite a recent work, The Last Man exhibited at a recent show about children of men at 100 Years Gallery. It's a portrait of the last man on earth. It's been exhibited in an exhibition. It's a nice size. It's a bit smaller if you can see than those other ones I showed before. And uh, who wants to say it's a figurative expressionist painting? This is probably the newest of all the works, so I'd probably <coughs> be expecting a little bit more in terms of the offers. But like, just send me offers, and I'll say if that's cool or not. Again, London, if you can pick it up from there, it'd be perfect. Large pieces, actually. So these are quite large pieces. I'll just give you a bit of a sense of idea of scale. This is 120 by 100 centimeters. Probably doesn't look huge on the picture, but it is quite big. That's a tele quite a large widescreen television for reference. So this is a painting I did a few years ago at a residency. Uh, it's probably the only painting of those that it survives. It's based on a dream a friend had, Simon, who's a poet. And uh, yeah, I'll, so I'll, the lighting's a bit bad here, so I'll, I will share the, the JPEG of what it actually looks like in, in good lighting, but you get the idea. This is obviously a little larger, so you'd have to consider whether you can store it in your house or hang it up somewhere. But again, not unreasonable offers will be accepted. Finally, we have this figurative expressionist piece, which I did while, during my time in Manchester. You can see it's quite influenced by something like uh, Edward Monk, Bacon, sort of combination of those with abstract elements. Uh, again, it's quite large. It's probably about the same height as the last one, but less wide. So I think it's about 100 by, um, I'm not sure actually, 100 by 90 or something. It's quite unusual for that, so it's a bit more um, slim. But yeah, I'll show the, also the JPEG of that piece as well. Uh, it doesn't really have any explicit meaning, it's just an image, right? So, quite an elongated head, it's just experimenting with biomorphism, really. So, yeah, you can... Yeah, that's that one. Yeah, that's all those images. Like I said, get in touch, uh, either in the comments below or send me an email at crispygobber at gmail.com. I will... But like I said, I basically just want to shift these paintings, so any pretty much most offers will be accepted if you just like them let me know if you're in london area that's even better i can just deliver them to you by hand so yeah that's that i'm going to know chris so go on our, our vortex let me know if you're interested in any of these paintings and i will be able to ship you them to you i am in london now and uh that's it really share away if you like as well because Look, if you want to know anyone who's after some art in London, I'm your man. I've got like all these paintings here. <laughs> like I can sell them pretty much whatever. Like I'm not like I'm never really been that concerned about like I don't know. I would have sold all my work for five grand, <laughs> you know, each. I'm not bothered. I'll just make these paintings, and if some someone likes them, I'll sell them to them. Really. That's that. And then, uh, probably some people would say it's a stupid idea putting them on offer for whatever but like realistically where I have them in storage now with the cold coming and everything I just need to shift them otherwise they'll just get destroyed probably they'll just go to waste so may as well try and sell them on to good homes like uh, we're obviously not going to give them away but you know I'm talking reasonable offers of like just be below 100 or 100 plus the bigger ones obviously but yeah, so yeah like again, if you like any of this stuff, just give me a message, crispygobber at gmail.com or on Twitter, at Rational Chaos, or at any other way you can find me on my website, chrisgobberart.co.uk. Yada, yada, yada. That's that. Have a good one. Let me know. Bye, bye, bye.